Gus. I'm an editor, an animator, and a visual effects artist. Today I'm going to be breaking down my thought process and influences in creating the action sequences for my most recent film, Darth Vader vs. Kylo Ren. If you haven't already, check that out, either now or after the video. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like and subscribe. I upload every single week. You're not going to want to miss it. One of my greatest passions when it comes to filmmaking and writing is uh, action sequences. And yes, there is a writing process. If the action sequence isn't popping off the page and making me feel like, oh man, I really want to see this, then it isn't really working, or it isn't really worth making. So what's the most important element in a fight sequence? And just plain old action? Punches? Saber clashes? Drama. Now bear with me as this video is not just about drama, as that's been talked about, you know, like a million times. There's a lot of variation in the duels throughout the Skywalker saga, so let's go into detail as to why I think some of those resonate better with modern audiences than others. Here's one of the most iconic lightsaber duels in all of Star Wars, and most modern day moviegoers will just tell you, it's the most boringest of all the lightsaber battles. Many an essayist has gone into why, uh, from a technical standpoint, the emotion of the scene is what makes this duel good, and why the emotion behind a scene like this is most important. Which is correct, and you know, that's a good explanation for the audiences of today. That's only looking at it from one point of view, you know, like the right now point of view. Let's take a moment to focus on something that I think is extremely important, which is the perspective of audience expectations. Let's travel back to 1977. The biggest movie in the world was Jaws. Huge action movies weren't a dime a dozen, and the understanding of pacing as a culture wasn't going a million miles a minute. People wouldn't know what the heck to do with something like this. And people had never seen a lightsaber ever before. Just think about that. This did not even exist. So what am I getting at here? You have to take into account your modern audience and what is going to wow them, doing things that they've never seen before. The reason why this fight worked just beyond the emotional weight of the scene is because it was freaking cool to see lightsabers ignite, to see them clash, the sound alone, the visually stunning nature of the blades, unlike anything anyone had ever seen. Take away that audio and visual sensation of seeing something like that for the very first time, of course this fight seems boring because the film is over 40 years old and inspired modern cinema. And now we're growing up with an overload of insane action sequences with each one wanting to top the last. The point I'm trying to get at is that you have to take into account your audience right now at this point in time. Do people think this is cool right now? No, we've been desensitized to sabers clashing together. The sounds are the same as they've always been, we're accustomed to the way they work. The lightsaber as a weapon is almost as standard to our brains as a sword nowadays. Not quite to that level, but you get what I'm trying to say. It doesn't hold the same weight as it used to. So when I make an action sequence now, what I'm least interested in showing is two guys slapping their sabers together. <laughs> I would argue that the set piece of a lightsaber duel is much more important nowadays than just two people clashing sabers. Looking back on these films right now, what do you remember about Luke vs. Darth Vader? When thinking about it in a day-to-day, -day, is it this? Or is it moments like this? For Revenge of the Sith, is it this? Or is it this? We're attracted to things we haven't seen before, and when looking back on these films, we're attracted to the things we haven't seen since. In some scenarios, you can just make the focus be the lightsaber clashing and that kind of thing. But I guess what I'm saying is that if you really want to wow people, the set piece is much more important. Yes, some saber clashing can still be cool, but what is interesting about this? The impact of the sabers, or is it the fact that it's two Jedi against a super cool looking Sith Lord? who has a double-bladed lightsaber. It's a cool scenario, it's a cool circumstance that still we have not seen on the big screen since, so it still holds that wow factor just from the circumstance of the fight. And yes, The Phantom Menace does go into very cool set pieces, I'm just talking about that initial start of the fight because although the environment isn't very stunning, the circumstance of the characters is still rather intriguing to us, even today for newcomers to the films. So applying this to modern films, or my film, how much time do I spend on Vader and Kylo clashing sabers? Even when they clash sabers at the end, what is more interesting to watch? Something we've seen a million times? Wow, it's so cool when they uh, swing the lightsabers that way. Or can I create more entertainment by cutting to the side drama of a sniper trying to prove himself by the accuracy of his aim? 
Is it more interesting to see sabers clash, or would you rather see Vader throw a TIE fighter at Kylo Ren and see how he would react? I'm not saying the way to create my scene is the only way to do it, I'm simply making an argument for my mindset going into this fight. Focus on drama, focus on your audience, focus on your set piece. What will people take away from your action scene, and why should they care at all? Fight sequences can be extremely boring nowadays, not because the fighting is bad, but because we've already seen people being thrown and punched around in every which way. So if you're tackling action, I'd suggest being prepared to look outside the box, finding something interesting and new that you can do that people have never seen before. Rather than focusing on someone punching in a cool way, think about the bigger picture. What sets your fight scene apart? What will really wow and spark the imagination of your modern audience? If you can figure this part out, you'll be able to create action scenes that are fresh and exciting. Hey guys, follow me on Instagram for daily posts and LEGO content. Also, check out my Patreon if you want to support these videos that I make. Uh, there's a lot of cool exclusive perks, and it really helps out the channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. On to the next one.